Hey guys, Kevin Cage back with another cryptocurrency video going over some exciting developments regarding Ripple XRP. Ripple being the private company and XRP being the native digital asset that runs on the XRP ledger. So without further ado, let's get right into it. First things first, I just wanted to take a look at TradingView and I'm just curious looking at these new candles for july of 2019 we're starting to retrace a little bit of course we are the world's best stable coin i'm saying that sarcastically but i actually just remembered when what was this this was like right at the right before uh october when we had that x rapid announcement so right before that announcement we saw a huge volume spike and if we look i mean we jumped from say 56 cents or you know even you know the 33 cents cent mark all the way up to about almost 77 cents within two or three days and this was massive and there's a lot of speculation we don't necessarily know if this was maybe a volume test um, but again there's not a bunch of clarity so if you guys have any insight please comment down below but we saw this huge spike in price and we know that the X Rapid partners weren't even that significant that were really launched there wasn't a bunch of volume and if we saw this price increase from basic volume and utility i'm very curious to know what the future holds for us so yeah let me know obviously this was a very small percentage of the volume but it was cool to see this difference and i'm curious when we're going to see something like that again because it is in the future it is coming we know and if you keep up with this channel and all the other great um, news outlets out there for xrp it's simply a matter of time Another thing I want to cover with Galgatron, this was covered, so I'm going to be very brief for those of you that may have not seen it, though. Basically, just showing remittance-sized payments are unfazed by the market massacre during, you know, the correction recently. And pretty clear sign there's considerable general genuine utility. So take a look. We got color coding right here. The main payments that we see are between 10 and 500 US dollars. This is the yellow trend line. We have some big purple spikes, and those are micro payments, less than two US dollars. We have blue, which is anywhere from 500 to 5,000 US dollars. And then down here, we have you know some of the bigger guys, 5,000 to 50,000. We have even this big brown one, which is greater than 50,000 US dollars, and that's almost non existent. So it's cool to see actual utility and showing that X Rapid, although it's only operating on very small volumes and tons of micro payments today, it's good to see this utility. This is a great sign and we need this liquidity to slowly and slowly build up. And when regs come regulations, we're able to flip the switch. So definitely exciting times. Galgatron, thank you for being part of this community and always sharing your thoughts. Next up, I know you've seen this, I believe DAI, Digital Asset Investor, already covered this, but I just want to kind of give my two cents and share a little bit more. So we got Barry Silbert. For those of you that don't know, he is the founder and CEO of Grayscale Investments, and they are a large, large firm. They have huge investments with Coinbase, Ripple the company, and C3Nick just came out and straight up just asked him, why aren't they talking about XRP? So I'm really interested to know why you never mention XRP anywhere, even though you're invested in Ripple itself and also offer investment products. How come you never mention it? And again, there's a lot of speculation and perhaps Barry and some other high net worth individuals cannot say. Because again, I, I even noticed like Mike Novogratz, um, part of Galaxy Digital, never mentions it is mentions XRP either. They go... They talk about Bitcoin, they talk about Ethereum, they skip XRP, and then they'll address, you know, Litecoin or some other assets or altcoins. And again, Alex Cobb goes, but Ripple is also investing a lot of their resources in the XRP ecosystem. And that was a witty retort because Barry just kind of gives this general vague answer that Ripple, the company, is their largest investment. He's neutral on the token as of now. So I'm not sure if that's because of NDAs, non-disclosure agreements, that he has to say that. But then another person right here, Go Crypto, just says, yep, Ripple is, or Ripple R, laying the train tracks, building the pipelines, and putting in place the infrastructure to send trillions around the world. This is a gargantuan effort, and Ripple should be applauded for helping to better our financial world. So very interested um, to see if anyone actually addresses it, even Anthony Pompliano. A lot of these people just say they're neutral. And that makes you often wonder because we already know that they have large stashes of XRP. So why is proof of work being pushed over proof of consensus when we know the consensus mechanism is already superior in every way? All right. And right here, Marshall Moe retweeted this for me. So thank you. And it is a post by the Regal Chicken. Um, and this is actually a really, really good string. So basically, 
we have the most active wallet yesterday. And if you click this link, we'll see the number of transactions. So well over 6,000 transactions on this wallet. And basically we're just talking, and it's, again, the wallet belongs to Coins PH. We all know that they are an XRapid partner, which utilizes XRP. And as we can see, let us let me give you a brief summary for XRapid. So basically, XRapid payment flow would look like this in US to Mexico. So we got FIs that have an account with Bittrex or some other X payment provider, XRapid partner. They initiate the payment in US dollars via XRapid, which is the software, and the US dollars are instantaneously converted into XRP on Bittrex, the exchange. Then that amount in XRP is settled over the XRPL, XRP ledger, to Bitso, perhaps, you know, the other exchange, through its Mexican peso liquidity pool. And then that, so it goes US dollars on Bittrex, transferred in the XRP, it's settled on the XRP ledger, goes to the other exchange in the other country, Bitso, and then it's instantly converted from XRP into the fiat, in this case, the Mexican peso, which is then settled into a destination bank account. And this is going around, this is basically the problem that XRP is solving, the liquidity issues. All right, so as you can see, Bitrix is one of the biggest names in the digital asset trading in the US. The same goes for Bitso in Mexico and Coins PH in the Philippines. So just think PH for Philippines, and that's how you know. So they are already in a large existing partner. And again, this is what I always refer to as well. They say Ripple announced this, that financial institutions piloting X Rapid, only piloting saved 40 to 70% on average compared to traditional foreign exchange brokers who facilitate cross-border payments. So if you ask me, I always, always, always say about 70% of savings that XRapid can offer when you truly flip the switch and utilize them 100%. And that's exactly what's going to happen in due time. All right, so as we go along here, Regal Chicken Shares This was recently acquired by Gojack.com for $72 million. So let's check this article out briefly. And again, this was six months ago, so pretty recent. But again, Gojack buys the financial technology startup Coins PH for $72 million ahead of Philippines expansion. And they're really trying to solve this problem for the Philippines, the remittance market, and you know, going towards and migrating towards a cashless society. So right here, Gojek announced it has acquired local fintech company, CoinsPH, which gives it a majority stake in the business. The deal is officially undisclosed, but TechCrunch understands from two industry sources that Gojek paid $72 million. And what else did I want to cover? And then right here, CoinsPH started out offering crypto exchange services, but it pivoted to a broader focus on fintech, including mobile payments and financial services in recent times. The company has raised 10 million from two investments. And right here, the acquisition is clearly a strategic one for Gojek, which is reportedly valued at around $9 billion. And again, I've seen you know different price points. I've seen nine, I've seen 10 billion as well. Um, few locations, Philippines. Again, with the second largest population and a strong domestic economy, the Philippines is one of the most exciting markets in Southeast Asia, and Southeast Asia being an emerging market is a huge, huge foundation for Ripple, the private company. All right, and then as we go to the next article right here, so he goes on to say, and now Gojek actually received an investment from Visa as well. So these are plans within plans. These connections are insane. And I'm so thankful for the XRP community for doing a lot of this digging as well. Because when you put all the puzzle pieces together, when you connect the dots, it's exciting. So really quick, July 20, uh, yeah, July 17th, so very recent of 2019, we got... Let's see, Visa said this, that it's invested in Indonesia's Gojek is part of the ride-hailing company's ongoing Series F fundraising round. As you can see here, Visa did not much mention how much money it was investing or how big a stake it would require. Again, Gojek was launched in 2011. And it's, you know, it's really expanded its scope of work. And then right here, the Indonesian company raised about one billion early this year, earlier this year and is valued at up to ten billion, so nine billion up to ten billion, according to sources. So that is a huge valuation, and it makes you wonder why. It's because they see phenomenal upside, and they are a Coins PH is a Ripple partner. All right, so now let's get to the good stuff and what this has to do with Ripple and why this is so exciting. So as you probably know, so Visa, of course, they invested in Gojek. And then we have 
points ph being an x rapid partner okay but let me see here there was a point that i really really wanted to make okay so gojek acquired coins ph coins ph is the x rapid partner next though as you can see visa also bought earthport after investing in gojek and visa's complete you know a complete monster and so is earthport as well so as we move on visa acquires control of earthport and this was may of 2019 so just two months ago and i want to go over this briefly so may 8th 2019 visa today announced it has acquired control of earthport a company that provides cross-border payment services to banks money transfer service providers and businesses via the world's largest independent ach network Visa currently enables payments to be sent or from Visa cards. The acquisition will make it possible for Visa clients to enable individuals, businesses, and governments to utilize Visa to send and or receive money through bank accounts around the world. With the acquisition of Earthport, Visa expects to be able to reach the vast majority of the world's banked population and allow them to easily, quickly, and securely move money worldwide. Any wild guess on how they're going to go about this? Nearly 80 trillion US dollars of US money is sent via a wire transfer or bank account globally today, but the process is harder and more complex than it should be. Money can take days to arrive, to arrive because of outdated, inefficient, and costly methods. This is massive. And now you might be asking, okay, so what does this have to do with Ripple? Well, in 2014, Ripple had announced the partnership they had with Earthport and Earthport actually integrated Ripple's cross-border payments protocol into their existing payments on um, their payment network to enable its customers to benefit from lower liquidity management costs along with maintaining the regulatory standards at that time. However, it's also been noticed that several Ripple proponents across different media platforms mentioning this announcement can lead to a partnership between Rip Ripple and Visa as well because obviously they're all connected. So Again, it's also been said that, you know, this is huge news connecting the dots. Earthport is a Ripple partner. Visa is an Earthport partner. Now, this would make Visa a Ripple partner by default. And Visa acquiring Earthport is huge. Um, you know, like, like it's been said, they don't have an instant payment problem. And Visa does, you know, so many transactions per second. They have a settlement and tracking issue. And now Visa has neither of those issues, thanks to XRP. So we have that option being developed. And again, they have to be very, very cautious in announcing all of this because if this was well known and you weren't distracted with all these other altcoins and Bitcoin and Ethereum, everybody would be an XRP. You have to look at fundamental analysis when you're investing in a volatile and emerging asset class like this. And I hope this makes sense. I don't want this channel to be hype. I'm showing you facts and true connections that people have found for us. So just please know, I mean, obviously you can construe this as hype because I am hyped. I'm absolutely excited for what the future has, but I just want to show you all of this. Now, again, you can say it doesn't make them partners, but this partnership was, you know, back in the day in, in 2014, it was between Ripple and Earthport and Visa can easily end any partnership since Ripple is, you know, a Visa competitor, if you see it that way. And in my opinion, that's not going to happen. Ripple's more than, you know, cooperative. They're more than willing to cooperate and do what they can to help. And they are helping with a huge pain point issue. And Visa might not necessarily want to spend the billions of dollars of infrastructure in developing their own assets because Ripple's already tightly connected. And if they don't want to work with Ripple, they can use an open source blockchain as well. Um, they can use the Corda Settler, you name it. So guys, I hope that was helpful. I hope you're seeing the connections and you understand even, you know, 5% of the reason why I am so excited for the future of XRP and along with increased X rapid utility, which will hence increase that price. And we're going to see massive spikes. I mean, a dollar, a few dollars, $10. This is nothing in the scheme of things. This is not a traditional stock market. Granted, it's risky, but this is one of the most established digital assets since 2012, 2013, right after Bitcoin. And if not, you could argue it was even before Bitcoin with OpenCoin. But again, that's all, you know, it's all semantics. So guys, hit that like button. I really appreciate everybody that's supporting this channel. It, it means the world to me. And I really love reporting on all of this because I would be doing this research regardless. And it's just a lot, you know, a lot of fun for me to make these videos. So guys, I will see you in the next one. Thanks.